Hello ROS developers and welcome to the ROS questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about ROS, this is your channel. ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS for autonomous cars, everything ROS is here. Learn ROS step by step and push your ROS learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I have found here in ROS answers, which is ROS to pop up an echo in launch file, which I think it's quite interesting. So basically he says, well, we are coming here in a moment, but first of all, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now, yes, let's go to the video itself, uh, to the question, and he says, Hi, I would like to test a note publishing things and seeing if they are arrived. What is the structure the launch file should have? I would like to modify the arguments as I want. Okay, so this is quite interesting. So let's try to reproduce this, an example of this, in a, as always in ROSDS. So let's go to our ROS development studio. And uh, first of all, let's create a new project, which I'm going to call ROS topic, uh, ROS topic test. Create, let's create the project and open it. Let's wait a few moments until the wall environment loads. Okay, great. So here we have our environment. So we are going to open a shell, first of all. Let's open an IDE as well to visualize everything we do. So for, let's go straight to the Catkin workspace um, and let's create a package. So I'm going to create here a Catkin create package and now I'm going to name my package test ROS topic, for instance. There we go. And here it will be created and uh, we are going to create now the launch uh, directory where we will place our launch files and here for instance we can create one to test uh, poop dot launch and test echo dot launch yeah so this way we are going to test how to publish and how to subscribe, let's say, yeah, so the poop and the ego. And now, uh, let's see, so first of all, let's check out the how to publish. So let me launch here a raw score. And let me open another one here, another shell here, right here. So here you have the raw score running. And now, uh, a regular ROS topic pop from the command uh, for the command shell, let's say, for the command line would be, for instance, test ROS topic pop the name of the topic, and then we state the type of the message, standard messages, for instance, let's say, and a string, and then here if we double tap, it auto completes. Yeah, so this is the structure of our ROS topic pop command. ROS topic pop, then we place the name of the topic in which we want to publish, then we uh, place the the message, the type of the message that we are going to publish, and then we fill that message with some data, yeah? In this case, it will be a string, yeah? Then, for instance, here it will be hello, yeah? And now, if we open another shell here, we are ROS topic echo of test topic, we are going to see this hello, yeah? So now, how can we do this? Uh, into a launch file. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, create here the launch tag and close it. There we go. And now we are going to open first of all a note tag. Note. Let's open and close it like this. Then here we need to specify first of all the package. The package in this case will be ROS topic, yeah? Then the type of the node we are going to launch, which is ROS topic as well, yeah? Then the name of the node, this is the general structure of a, of a node tag package name, the node, which I'm going to call ROS topic node, for instance. 
then I'm going to redirect the output to the shell and finally I'm going to add here an, an arc stack yeah and here is where I'm going to specify all this so my command will be ROS topic, but then I'm going to specify all this into the arguments. So I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Yeah. Then this would be um, okay. Here we are going to change the double quotes for single quotes, so that it do it doesn't conflict. Yeah. Then this is exactly the same, let's say, as this. Let's let's test it. So now I can do um. I'm going to source my workspace first of all, ROS launch, test ROS topic, and test pub.launch. If I execute this, as you can see, this, let me show it here. So as you can see, this publishes this hello message here as well. So this is exactly exactly the same as the command we ran uh, here previously, yeah. But this doesn't give much flexibility. So for instance, here, what would be interesting to do would be the following. So here, for instance, we can come here and modify this by uh, let's say topic name, yeah. And now, if I come here, I can define an argument which is named topic name and which has a default value of, let's say, in this case, test topic. Yeah? So what, uh, what have I done here? I have substituted the uh, name of the topic, which was hard-coded, let's say, here in the argument, and I have added an argument w which I can modify here through, the, uh, through this argument. Yeah, so now I can do this. Uh, there is a mistake. Oh, yeah, it's here. It's not closed. Okay, there we go. Okay, great. So now, as you can see, I'm getting the message exactly the same, yeah? Let's see, you will see here. There we go. Okay, and even we can easily here change the name to test uh, topic 2, for instance. Now, if I use this and I do a ROS topic echo of the test topic 2, I get the message here, yeah? And this is exactly the same as for the message. I mean, you can, for instance, change, you can add an argument here in order to change what you publish. Yeah, it would be something like this. Uh, arc uh, string, for instance. And then you can come here and modify this one, which is string. and modify what we publish, yeah? For instance, let's publish again. And now we get the buy, yeah? So this gives us, this argument gives us flexibility in our, in our node, yeah? So this is how you would publish. Then for the subscription, let's copy all these. And for the subscription, it would be uh, quite similar. We don't need this. In, in fact, it, it's easier because we don't need to specify all this. We can just specify the topic name we want to subscribe to, like this. And we need to change, of course, instead of poop, it's echo. Yeah, so the regular comment, as you have seen here, it's a uh, ROS topic echo and the name of the topic. It's that simple. So we have here the ROS topic echo and the name of the topic, yeah? So now we can run here our launch file, ROS launch, ROS launch, um, it was 
test. Sorry, I need to source first. Devil set up bash. So Ross launch, test Ross topic, and test echo. There we have it. Uh, does not appear to be published yet. Okay, and now we can do uh, the other one. I'm sorry, source. Okay, ROS launch, test ROS topic, and test pop. And now we will get the message here. Ah, okay. So you can see, you see, when I have launched this one, this has died because I haven't modified the, the node name. And they can, there, there cannot be two, two nodes with the same uh, name. So let's say this one is the echo node, and this one will be the uh, pub node. Yeah, let's stop all this again. And launch it again. The echo. And now we will uh, launch the pub. And we will get the message here. Yeah, there we have it. Bye. Okay, so yeah, this is basically how you use the Rostopic tool in launch files. As you can see, it's pretty simple. So I hope you've learned something new with the video. I hope you've liked it. If so, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel. And for any comments, any feedback, remember to leave your comment down below in the comments area. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.